As you might guess, uh, a lot of people have some opinions. Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, this is Rico. Calling in about the Dejavian Conley situation. Now, with all due respect to his caliber of play, what organization wouldn't feature their generational talent? I don't think I ever heard of a defensive end complaining that he's getting moved around. I mean, you move the edge players around so they can create mismatch opportunities. And for Klein to say that he doesn't appreciate that and feels like he's devalued in the system is strange. Obviously, this is an indictment on Woods and his inability to put players in the best position to succeed. But Clowney has to realize that he's 30 years old and the Browns will feature Miles and let him dominate the game more so than they want Clowney to. Yes, he is right when he said that it should be about winning, not trying to get somebody into the Hall of Fame. But in my opinion, moving them around is a way to win. How do you feel about this? Do you think Clowney has a valid reason, or is this complaining because he knows this will affect his next contract? Thanks. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. I, I don't think anything that Jadavian Clowney said in that article is about winning whatsoever. Um, I think it's uh, about him trying to explain his production which hasn't been great this year. Two sacks. That's all that is. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all, you know. He's trying to hedge his bet on that one. You know what I'm saying? And and, and he and and it, see this is the thing that you get, you know, we talk about Joe Woods a lot. And I I worried about this a little bit to an extent is that when people don't respect who the coaching who's coaching them, people don't respect uh your what you bring to the table, your adjustments, your football knowledge. You start to have people, um, you know, talking out of turn, jumping out of order. Um, we've seen it with Kate York. He's on the sideline. I think Stefanski was moving around, and he said he wanted him to, go, to, to kick a field goal, and Stefanski wouldn't, and so he was upset at the end of regulation, and he was just telling him, why won't, why won't you let me kick it? And that's a kicker. We've had Miles Garrett had some issues with not reporting where he was at. He got suspended and benched for a week. Then you got Jadavian Clowney. So, you, you know, all of these things are an indictment on – the way people act when they see the ship falling. If you ask yourself, would this take go on in other organizations? The answer is no. You wouldn't see this in Baltimore. You wouldn't see it in Pittsburgh. Um, and you, you, they wouldn't do those type things either. You know, Clowney is a guy who is, is his strong suit is his run play, run 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 um, ability, uh, stopping the run, and quick inside moves and penetration. He's never been what you call an elite pass rusher, does not have elite bend, does not have elite, uh, you know, body control to get around the hoops. He is a really good athlete. But what Clowney was kind of actually saying, and it's an indictment on him, is he's saying that they got to put him in specific special situations in order for him to manufacture sacks. Because to be honest with you, um, if, if you saying he just said that he doesn't think the coaches understand that he can make plays. Well, if you were number one pick and you feel like you're a player that makes plays, why would you care which tackle is on you? Yeah. I don't care who. Hey, why you care where Miles Garrett gets switched? I can make plays just like he can. So it don't matter if I got the left tackle, the right tackle, the guard. I feel confident in my ability to get to the passer. Nobody says that. Well, and the other, I, I just the other thing is, is if you truly care about winning, okay. Put Miles Garrett in a situation where he can get to the quarterback because that's going to help us win. I, that, that's that's the troubling it's, part of it all. It, it's one of those things where it's one of those things where he didn't even you know you could tell from Miles Garrett's comments he was blindsided by a little bit. I think the comment that really stuck in his crawl was you trying to put somebody in the Hall of Fame, and it's like don't diminish what I'm doing to bring light to your situation. Yep. If you feel like. If you feel like you're not getting the opportunity, stick to talking about the opportunities that you're not getting and why you don't like that. But don't go pivot towards Miles Garrett and say, oh, like it's some big uh, grand conspiracy theory where they're putting an average player that needs a stats boosted in, a, in the Hall of Fame. That, that like that comes off as like you're yeah. being real petty and like that's a that's a subliminal shot. I, I, I didn't like that. Yeah.